What is going on guys? Josh here from N and J. Um, right here, if you guys have seen any of our past videos, this is a different bike than I previously had. So I had an FZ07 and I put about 4,600 miles on it in the span of like four months maybe. I bought the bike in February. I had it March, April, May, and June. So about four months, I put roughly 4,600 miles on it. And I was looking for something different. Nick and I both kind of uh, were looking to maybe get out of the sport bike world and get into something way cooler. And that brings me to this bike. So this bike here is a 2019 Indian Scout Bobber. Um, I can't remember what the color is, but it's like a matte white. <clears throat> and I got a steel on this bike, which I'll talk about um, a little bit later. But basically it's gonna be a long-term review. We're calling this a long-term review because I've put almost 5,000 miles on this bike since June. Um, done a couple road trips with it, and I think I'm qualified and have had enough time on the bike to uh, do a little bit of a long-term review and things I love about the bike and uh, only a couple things I don't really like about the bike. So let's, uh, let's jump right into it. So I've been looking at Indian Scout Bobbers pretty much since I first got into bikes and I bought my Honda Grom, which was like over a year ago. Um, I've seen these bikes and I've loved them. Um, so, I mean, the first thing to talk about, things I love about this bike are the looks. The bike just looks awesome. It looks aggressive. It's super low. And if you go to bike nights and stuff, it definitely gets people's attention. Um, not a lot of people have Indians, let alone Indian Scout Bobbers. Um, so it's definitely a, a looker. A lot of people look at them and see it and, and notice it's something different. <laughs> On top of the looks, the bike runs insanely good. It revs really high, which I'll talk about again in a little bit. Um, and it's just, it's just a, a good all around bike. It makes a lot of power, it makes a lot of noise, and it just, it's a lot of fun to ride. Um, I love the seating position. It's it, I actually made it a little bit better. I put on these plates up here that move the controls two inches forward. Um, kind of extends my legs out a little bit more. Um, and I decided to keep drag bars on it. It does kind of fold you over a little bit, but um, the only time I really noticed that that was a problem was when we went on our road trip up to Traverse City and we did about three days of riding and it was uh, pretty rough on my back. <clears throat> But a lot of that has to do with the seat as well. The seat is not the most comfortable. Um, but for just kind of cruising around town and going to like South Haven and stuff, which we live about an hour away from South Haven, um, just going to South Haven and back, it's, it's good enough. I love the sound of this bike. It's got a very almost raspy sound to it uh, when you really get on it and it revs up super high, but it, I think it sounds great. Um, if anybody's seen a picture of the stock Indian Scout Bobbers, the mufflers go right here and go all the way back to the back of the wheel. Um, and as soon as I got the bike, I had to get rid of those. These little shorty pipes I bought um, from JP Cycles, I think they were 100, 100 bucks, 120 bucks. Um, and I plan on doing a different exhaust, but for now I'm going to keep it like this. It sounds great. Um, and it looks awesome in my opinion. So this bike is almost completely stock. Um, I think on top of the exhaust, I added these passenger pegs as well as I have a back uh, pillow seat. So this sits right here and it bolts in, um, <clears throat> matches the stock seat. So that's cool. Things I plan on doing to it, I'm gonna do new tires. That back tire is pretty much roasted um, just because of, uh, you know, I put a lot of miles on it. Um, might do a different exhaust. I'm going to keep the bars. And other than that, you know, I think this bike's perfect for me. And I really don't want to change a whole lot to it. So finally, I'll talk a little bit about kind of like the, the details of the bike. So a brand new Indian Scout Bobber is going to run you about $13,300. This bike I actually bought from Elkhart Indian uh, down in Elkhart, Indiana. Um, shout out to those guys. Um, this bike was actually a demo bike. So it had... 7,000, I think the number was 7,877 miles on it. And 
because it was a demo bike, they still could sell it as new and it came with a two year warranty. Um, I ended up paying $10,300 for this bike. So I got basically $3,000 off the MSRP um, and all the miles on it were light miles. I still got a warranty um, and everything. So that's, I, I got a pretty good deal on this bike. When you look at the money that you pay for a bike like this, even if you were to buy a brand new one for 13.5 or whatever, it looks great. It's fast as hell. Um, that's, you know, it's got dual overhead cams, um, which is cool. I'm, well, we might do a video talking about the difference between my bike and a Harley um, and the technology behind it and why these motors are smaller but make more power. It's, it's a whole thing. Um, so we'll probably talk, well, I'm sure we'll do a video on that at some point, but you know, you, you spend the money and you get a great bike that looks awesome and really catches people's attention. It's just a cool looking bike and I love the bike and I uh, would not trade it for anything right now. The only thing I do wish is that I had an LED headlight from the factory. Every other light on here, the tail lights and the front blinkers are all LEDs, but not the headlight. I'm sure we'll do some riding POV videos or something like that. Um, in the future, we're gonna we're bringing back the channel. NNJ has been dead for like the whole summer pretty much, but um, we're gonna bring it back. That's all I have for today's video. It's kind of giving you guys a review of my 2019 Indian Scout Bobber. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if you want to subscribe, that would be cool. Check out some of our other videos, and you know, subscribe. So uh, you guys can hear our, or see our new videos when they come out, which hopefully there'll be a lot of them coming out soon. And yeah, that's all I got. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys next time.